Hello, my name is Connor Greeley, and I'm in ninth grade at the Waterford School in Utah. I would like to thank Dr. Logan McLean at Intermountain Healthcare for allowing me to be a part of this study as a research assistant. Incidental liver lesions on cross-sectional imaging are common, affecting approximately 30% of patients over the age of 40. Recommendations for follow-up imaging of these lesions have been established by the American College of Radiology. This study evaluates the impacts and outcomes associated with the implementation of mandatory radiology reporting established by the ACR for follow-up of incidental liver lesions detected on contrast-enhanced CT scans of the abdomen and pelvis. In a healthcare system of 24 hospitals with 128 radiologists, a mandatory reporting al algorithm based on ACR guidelines was applied to all contrast-enhanced abdomen and pelvis CT reports in patients 15 years and older. From pick lists, radiologists reported lesion size, patient risk category, lesion imaging features, and follow-up recommendations. This synoptic data was imported into an electronic dashboard, which linked the radiology report recommendations to an electronic medical record ordering platform to assess adherence to recommendations. Between December 2020 and March 2021, 21,689 CT scans were evaluated. 1,537 or 7.1% of patients were described as having incidental liver lesions. Of these, 8.3% of patients had a recommendation of liver MRI now. 1.5% of patients had a recommendation of liver MRI now or biopsy now. And 20.1% of reports failed to provide any recommendation. Of those with a recommendation for liver MRI now, only 32.3% of patients underwent this study within a month, and only 26.1% of patients that had a recommendation for liver MRI now or biopsy now received this study within a month. No follow-up within one month occurred in 68.7% of patients. In conclusion, a mandatory reporting algorithm for incidental liver lesions does not guarantee adherence to radiology reporting recommendations. In our study, less than a third of patients received the recommended follow-up within a month. This represents a gap in care and an opportunity for improvement. We recommend using a mandatory reporting algorithm in combination with an electronic dashboard that allows a multidisciplinary team of radiology, hepatology, and liver transplant specialists to visualize and act upon.